Well, like I've just been saying now, getting a personal healthcare plan from the doctors, I'm, I'm a carer and look after my father, and to get something like that with the medical history all written down, you can then find out what's important, what's not important. You can also track how many times he's been to the hospital, how many times he's been to the doctors, what's been good and what's been bad. So yeah, it's, it's very important that you get the information out to people. Researching online of things that have gone on in the past and then researching contact numbers and going back through the history has been very helpful and also being able to use computer, go online and access information is very helpful. As, as clear as possible and not using all these great big words that you've got to go back on and then find out what the word means then to go back into the website and then find out how you can deal with that and who you've got to speak to. So the clearer it is the better. You know, sort of like the long intelligent words and then a layman's term of it would make it a lot easier. Sometimes it can be time consuming because you get referred to one to another to another. It, sometimes it's just to be nice and simple with a contact number that you can ring say what your problem is and then decide whether you're going to start researching more or looking in for more information, things like that. Sometimes when you get redirected to something that's not important then having to get back to where you originally was, you know, sometimes you can have too much information on a page about things. Um, when you get the paperwork like I've been given from the, the doctors, the healthcare plan, that's easy to go through that and break it down and then go and search online for that particular point. I think one of the problems I've come across with patient information with my father, because he's got onset dementia, when they're continually posting leaflets or letters through the door, that doesn't necessarily mean that that particular patient is going to get it and read it. Because half the time he'll pick up the letter, rip it up and throw it in the bin. So I think the information needs to be directed so that the, the patient actually physically gets it and gets it explained to them, or it's physically given to the particular carer that's looking after them. That's a problem I have found in the past. Doctors have said they've sent letters out, they've made appointments, but if he hasn't understood that, or actually read and got the letter, then it means nothing. Yeah. But if you give it to a carer or a family member, they can then make sure that he visits that appointment. And then the knock-on effect of that is not wasting doctor's times, you're not taking up patient slots. So it has a big knock-on effect if you multiply that by the amount of people that don't actually read that piece of paper.